My name is Stephanie Miller Rizzi and I am a client at Fig Tree Therapy. Before I came to Fig Tree, I um, was working to try and manage um, some very traumatic experiences I had early on in childhood. Um, and I'd come to realize maybe in my mid-30s that that trauma was still affecting me in very deep ways. And um, I tried many, many therapists before, I mean, at least 10 probably. And I'd also worked with Al-Anon because one of my parents was um, an alcohol, you know, was dependent on alcohol. And that led to a lot of my traumatic experiences. When the last therapist I tried before coming here didn't work out, I just like, I kind of just surrendered myself and I called out to God and I was like, please help please help. And so um, I'm trying not to tear up, but <laughs> um, as soon as I did that, I, I got in the phone book and I saw a fig tree and I called. When I met Tina with fig tree, um, the work we did was amazing. And um, she spent a lot of time with me. Uh, it was very difficult. Um, but she encouraged me to stick with it. And afterwards, there are many things in my life that have improved. One is that I'm much easier on myself. I don't blame myself for um, mistakes I might make. I don't like talk to myself negatively. Um, I think I was mirroring what my parents did um, for most of my life. And I learned how to be easier, kinder to myself, which really changed things. I could always count on Tina as a therapist to focus on the therapy and what was going to work for me. A lot of times I would work with other therapists and they would go into like adding their own personal stories or kind of getting off track with, you know, things that weren't really necessarily going to be directly helpful for me. I never felt any pressure. Tina always asked me if it was okay before she prayed or, you know, talked about God and religion. I'd let her know up front that I was totally okay with that because I practice, you know, a kind of Christianity myself. A lot of my anxiety fell away, though I still sometimes struggle with it. I'm now an elected official. I won an election, you know? <laughs> like, how, did, how does that happen? I go out and I actually run for office and I win an election um, because I have more self-confidence. For someone on the fence, and there are a lot of people on the fence, I, I know that. I know people personally um, who will say they want therapy and then go to the first therapy session and because it's so tough they give up or they don't want to do it or you know but what i would say is that any pain you feel in therapy um, is so much less than the cumulative effect of living life in pain everyone needs to check in with a therapist once in a while especially men there's a lot of pressure on them there are a lot of expectations of men. Um, you know, certainly women struggle too, um, but men also are socialized not to like reach out, not to show vulnerability. Everyone here has been wonderful. I've always felt at home here. And I would encourage anyone who is at the end and, and feeling like nothing's gonna help to, to try what's happening here at Fig Tree. Um, it was amazing for me, the transformation of from who I was then to who I am now in a very short period of time.